Hi friends. So I have, these are the type of things that come to me in the middle of the night and I get so excited. I can't wait to share them with you. Um, so I'm revisiting Brusho, which if you don't know that, it's just these watercolor like crystals that are so cool. I have so many fun things to share with you about them. I play with them a lot, but I haven't really done any more videos on them, but um, I really want to do that. They're made by Colorcraft and maybe some other uh, companies as well, but the ones I got are Colorcraft. So here's what they look like. The pack I got are, I got them over a year ago and it's eight colors. So these are the colors, sandstone, um, moss green, lime green, terracotta, burnt sienna, rose red, yellow ochre, and olive green. So I thought those were fun to revisit right now because it, they feel really like fall colors to me. What I want to do today is um, just, I'm going to swatch them out because I want to do a little series and I will make a playlist for you um, specifically for Brusho because I think you guys are gonna love these. I think you're gonna get really excited about these. Um, the other thing I'm sharing with you right now is this is a new Light Wish swatch book that came out. And um, I like it because it's just a little bit smaller. So we're gonna try that out as well. I will, by the way, link below in my description. Um, these supplies that I have. I'll, I'll grab my Amazon link I used and share that with you. So um, if you haven't used a swatch book, they're crazy handy. Let me show you my other one. It's a little bit bigger and I love it, but it is bigger. So I kind of like the idea of a smaller one. Um, if you didn't see that, by the way, that was, we went out to a coffee shop in the mountains here and I painted that of my hubby's latte. Um, anyway, this is a swatch book, really handy, you guys. Yes, I also swatch out, like Paul Rubens, sorry about that, my hair clip got caught. Um, I also swatch out, like Paul Rubens always gives you these, my Lang, um, but I tend to misplace these. So I like this because it's nice and big, and I put the color, I put the light fastness, um, I can tell here, you know, um, how many pigments are in it, what single pigments, all that fun stuff. So I've got pretty much a swatch sheet on the majority of my paints. And what's cool is when I'm looking for a color, like this is the Paul Rubens floral palette, I can go through and kind of say, yeah, I'm feeling these colors. So this is the large one. And this one's made by, let's see here. Um, painter's Diary. So I have several of those, but this one is Light Wish, and I thought it was kind of cool because it's smaller. Uh, in between each sheet, they give you these plastic sheets just so that, um, you know, it protects the page. And these are removable. So what I'll do a lot of times, hold on, got a little kink here, malfunction is I will take them out and work with them. Um, so anyway, what I'm gonna do with the brusho is, and this is how the little brushos come. So they come in this little tiny um, container. I'm just telling you guys, be crazy careful because this stuff is e literally explosive. You need such a tiny, tiny amount. When you're sprinkling it out, act like you're putting salt on your, or seasoning your food. Okay, that may be a miss say because I probably put too much salt on my food. <laughs> Anyways, what you're gonna wanna do first off, and I've used it other ways, but this is really to be extra careful, is put a push pin in the top. And seriously, look at that teeny tiny hole. That's all you need of this stuff. It is so concentrated. So that's how I will be using it today. And I just wanna swatch it out and I'm gonna swatch it out two different ways. What I'm gonna do is first wet an area and then I'm going to sprinkle in my um, brusho, my color crystals, and then I'm going to pull it out. Let, let me just show you. All right, let me grab a brush here. I'm just grabbing a random brush. 
um, I don't have my, I guess I could use, hold on, I could use my brush. So here's my, if you haven't signed up for these, by the way, you can do that right here just to be notified because it's going to be a really small release, you guys. And I'm doing a big, fun, can't wait live um, on September 13th. Yes, it's Friday the 13th. So crossing my fingers, please cross yours for me that that day is a lucky, positive, fun day. Um, and you can order these short handles. They're snappy. I love them. Look at the color. Oh my gosh. Can't wait to share them because you guys help me make these. Okay. So back to our swatching. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet this little area right here because the brush -o is going to go into that area and watch. It's just going to literally explode. Okay. So I'm gonna start first with sandstone. So I pull my little push pin out. Seriously, that is like the tiniest hole. That's all you need. And I'm just going to, let's see, I guess I can't. Okay, my hole is obviously clogged up or something. So I'll show you in a second. And what you're going to get here is all the different colors that make up the color sandstone, which is oranges and browns. I'm sure you could look it up. It probably will tell you um, what colors they put together. Shell, I don't know. So I wanted to do it like that. And then on this side, I want to show you, you can also mix some of this in a tiny palette, a tiny amount, and actually make a watercolor um, paint to paint with, but I love using it like this. So over here, I'm just going to spread it out and show you the color it makes. So I love using it like this. Let me show you something I was just playing with. So this is like a flower. I just did the first base, but I love this effect. And in this little series, we're going to have so much fun. You guys are going to be like, whoa, how did I never know this stuff existed? Or how many of you maybe have these in your art supplies and aren't using them? You're going to be amazed. This stuff's like truly watercolor magic to the 10th degree. So here we go. It's fun both ways because this way you're getting all the different wonderful colors. And here you're getting them all blended. So if you wanted to use them as a regular watercolor paint, you could definitely do that. And I have so many fun, oh, I, I don't wanna get ahead of myself, but I'm just so excited to share this with you. So that was the sandstone color, which is, I'm gonna say probably this one here. And let's move on to the next one, moss green. So I'm going to wet this area. And this is the thing, you guys, yes, it's spreading out side of my line, but I like that effect, like this right here. How cool is that? I think that looks really great. I love that. And I'm gonna show you how to get this little spider webby look. A secret coming up. So let's wet this area, grab our moss green, pull my little push pin out, and I'm going to sprinkle it in there. And I'm sure somewhere, oopsie, I even got some on there. That's perfectly fine, not gonna freak out. Look at that beautiful olivey green. It's gorgeous, you guys. Oh, I have the tiniest little spider. Oh my gosh, that is the tiniest spider I've ever seen. Let's grab our brush. Can't wait to share these with you, by the way. Look at the beautiful colors. I hope you can see this. Let me see if I can, <clears throat> excuse me, zoom in. I hope that's better. And then I'm going to pull it out. So you can truly paint with it either way. And the cool thing is here, you've got all the individual sprinkle colors that make up olive green, which is really cool in a painting. But when you mix it all together, it just becomes olive green. Unless you did like me, if you can see here, look at those beautiful, I mean, 
watercolors is incredible, but look what this can do. You get these wonderful swirls and colors. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Exactly what I love about watercolors, like magnified. Okay, so I've only got eight of these, two, four, six, eight. So let's move on, I've done those two. Oops, looks like I'm missing a thing in that one. Um, let's go to our next color, let's see. Let's do rose red. Let's see what that is, because that's my favorite color in my lane. Got a little bit of a puddle there, so I'm gonna pick some of that up. And let's pull that pin out. Just tap on a little bit of that. Ooh, very pretty. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh my God. These colors are going to be so fantastic for fall and the holidays. So there you go. And then let's pull it out. Oh, look at that. You guys, I'm telling you, I'm so excited about doing this series for you. So this one, interesting, doesn't look like it has a lot of different colors in it, but look at that intensity. I mean, it's just gorgeous. All right, let's go to the next color, which is going to be, let's do terracotta. So I'll wet this here. Oop, a little too much water, don't want to puddle. So I'm just picking some up. And there's so many different ways to play with this that I'm gonna be sharing with you other than how I'm doing right now. Like, it's incredible, you guys. So here's the terracotta. Now this one is also a red, but it's got a little bit more orangey color to it. So let's see how that, it's definitely a terracotta. How gorgeous would that be for a, a pot, a terracotta pot, or maybe, a wall in a Tuscan village. Oh my gosh, how fun. Or even flowers in that color, I think would be gorgeous mixed with this for the stems and this for some different color. Oh my gosh, you guys, unbelievable. Okay, let's keep going here. I get too excited. Burnt Sienna, let's go in there. This is so fun. I literally woke up as I tell you, I do a lot in the middle of the night. I was like, I, I got to do this. I got to get up early and do this. So this one's Burnt Sienna. And I really would swatch out these colors so you can see them. If you don't have this book, although this book is pretty reasonable, I think this one definitely is a little bit lighter than the Painter's Diary because, number one, it's a little smaller. Um, and then let's pull that out. So this one does look... I don't know if you can see, but this has all kinds of individual color crystals. Oh, look at those gorgeous colors. It's got some brown in there. Oh my gosh. So these two, I'll have to look this up for you guys. These two are, um, and you know what? I just realized I'm not writing down these colors. I need to write them down, duh. Um, these, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh my gosh, you guys. It'll come to me. Um, I the Oh, that's what I was saying. These two may be like just one or two pigment color. This one, this one, and this one have a mixture of colors. So I'm going to write this down really quick because I don't want to forget these. Um, let me find my marker or my pen. Oh, here's my... No, I'll use this. Okay. So this one is burnt sienna. Let's write that down here. These book swatch sheets are invaluable. Rose red, I remember that was this one. Look at how vibrant that is. And this is the thing too, like on here, I think I actually used, what color did I use? I think this was the terracotta and I blotted it. So I was playing with how to lighten the color a bit. So I did this and then I just lightly tapped this and look at all the beautiful whites and lights and darks. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're just going to have so much fun. Okay, so that is terracotta. Um, let's see. Sandstone. That was this one. Look at the beautiful, warm, yummy, deep 
brown. So Terra, is that sandstone? Oh my gosh, that's sandstone, not terracotta. Hold on, gotta get my little, where is it? My trusty little white, white out. Here it is, darn it. Let's just fix that. I'm just way too excited here. So that one was actually sandstone. I wish you all could be here painting with me. I mean, how fun is this? Um, moss green. And boy, do those are those colors like spot on what they named them? They sure seem to be. So four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So let's do what color next? One, two, three, four, five. Let's do lime green. So I'm just gonna pull that little pin out. Let's get our area wet. And sprinkle on, oops, so sorry, so sorry, so sorry. I zoomed in. So here is a little bit of what we're gonna white or water. We're gonna use some lime green. Ooh, so the lime green has a lot more, it actually has blue bright like turquoisey crystals and yellow and just a tad bit of maybe sandstone or brown. So look at that beautiful mixture of colors. And then let's pull it out. <gasps> Ooh, see, so when it mixes together, although I kind of like it when it's just not completely mixed together, although you could certainly do that. But I like when it has all the different crystals. Okay, let's write that one down. So that one was lime green. By the way, I'm not affiliated with these guys. I wish I was, because these are kind of pricey. I think I'm paying for one, two, three, four, for eight of them, I think it was like $40. Um, okay, olive green. Let's pull my little pin out. I'd like to buy some of their other colors, but I guess I better save up for that. So let's get this wet. And I'm gonna sprinkle in a tiny bit of that olive green. So this kind of reminds me, I'm thinking it's gonna be similar to this, but let's see. Oh, it's definitely darker for sure. And look at all the variety of colors. This is what's gonna be so fun, you guys, playing with this, is we're going to get all these washy, beautiful colors. So let me write that one down. Um, moss, oops, I already had moss green. Olive green. Olive green. And we have one more. Yellow ochre, five, six, seven, eight, yep. So let's pull that pin out. Let's clean my brush off. And here is a yellow ochre. Aren't these just to die for colors for fall? And I'm gonna sprinkle some on. I'm, I know it seems like I'm sprinkling a lot, but what's actually happening is it's, um, I have such a tiny, tiny hole, I have to kind of get more out, but you don't need that much, you guys. So I know it seems like I'm sprinkling a lot on, but I'm really not. Ooh, look at that. Is that fall or what? Oh my gosh, we're gonna be playing with these for a while. Okay, so there you go. Let's put yellow ochre. I'm just envisioning so many amazing things we're gonna do with this. So I wanted to start by swatching these out. If you wanna pick these up, I'll grab my link. Unfortunately, I don't have any discount code or anything because I'm not affiliated with them. But um, there we go. Um, I sure would like to be, so hello, Colorcraft, if you're out there. And I doubt you're gonna pick up on my little video because I'm a small artist, but hello, Colorcraft. 
I'd love, I'd love some product to share with all my friends here. Okay, so there we go. That's this one. I will link it below. I'll also link this little Lightwish swatch book because I think these are fantastic. You can remove these too. Let me zoom back out for a second. I hope I got all that and didn't cut any off for you guys. Let me hold this up so you can really get a good look at how beautiful these colors are. And this is just one way to use them. We're gonna have so much fun. Um, make So a couple things, if you wanna start do, playing with these with me, get yourself, this is just a little 99 cent store bottle, um, but you wanna make sure it has a fine mist, not like the big old bad boy that's gonna blast into the brush -o. You wanna have like a fine mist and we wanna stay a little distance apart so we get like this type of effect. If you use something that has too strong a mist or too big a holes in it, it's, I mean, I'm sure you could work with that too, but what I wanna share is this type of effect where you get this beautiful little spider webby, very light, subtle little sprinkles. So get yourself one of those, 99 cent store. I'm not even gonna link that because I think that's where I got it. Um, you could, you know, have a micron pen. I'll link that. As you know, I love the Ohuhu markers. So a micron pen's fine. This is the Ohuhu marker. I love them both. Um, what I actually like about the Ohuhu is I got a whole set and it has all kinds of them in it. Um, both of them are great though. So whatever you have, you know, use that. Um, just want to make sure it's waterproof, of course, smear proof, fade proof, all that kind of fun stuff. So we've been using those. Um, what else do I need to tell you? I think that's it for now. So this was just swatching them out. If you want to start playing with me, I'm going to do another video in just a minute here that I'll be sharing. And we're going to paint something really fun, you guys. Oh, I have one more. If I got this book years ago, didn't even look at it, you guys. Can you believe it? This, she's fantastic. Joanne Boone Thomas. Um, she has painting with brush show. I revisited this book. Oh, look at this, you guys. We're going to attempt all these things. Um, she's fantastic. So I will find my link. I bought this several years ago. Um, I will put my link to Amazon in here. But grab this book if you want a fun book to look at. And we're going to be going through a lot of the exercises she has in here. She's got so many fun ones. I mean, look at that. Is that to die for, you guys? She's got a ballerina here. Oh, pomegranates. We just painted pomegranates. So I can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. Look at these things. So I'm going to try and visit as much of these as you can. One other thing just to grab if you don't have them is either a white crayon or I've shared before the little wax sticks and I'll try and find my link for those. We're gonna be using those too because what we're gonna be doing is in some of these areas, she just used a wax stick so that when she used the brush -o, it didn't go there and it kind of outlined some of the petals. So we're gonna be doing that again, but. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna walk you all through this. I'm gonna break it down, I'm gonna make it doable, I'm gonna make sure we're having fun, and I can't wait to share with you. So join me, I will make a playlist called the Brush Out Playlist, and let's have some fun. And if you want to join me for my brushes, guys, they're coming out um, Friday the 13th. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your arms that it's a good day. I'll do a live. We'll do a painting. I'm even going to give away one of my pink flower paintings to one of you. And if you buy during the live, I thought this was pretty cool. Instead of $65 for the set of five, they're going to let me promote them for $55, you guys, and this is the set. I mean, is that gorgeous? You guys should be so proud because you helped me design this. You get all five brushes. Look at those, to die for, right? I mean, does that just make you wanna go grab your brushes and paint? It sure does me. So make sure you join me that day and sign up 
over here for the uh, brushes, just so that they notify you and say, hey, don't forget, you're going live. Um, and they will be a very small limited release. So um, they may sell out. My gosh, I hope so. I think that would be great because I'd love to start painting with you with them. Um, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. You guys are the absolute best. You're my inspiration every day. You make me smile every day. So sweet. We have so much fun and I will see you soon.